all. Today we are making a moon moth card. And uh, I went to the butterfly pavilion recently and they have a moon moth there and I just thought it was spectacular. So I'm modeling my card today after the moon moth. Um, I am taking post-it notes and washi tape and blocking off pieces in which I don't want ink to appear. And these are not the first time I've used this post-it note. You might be able to tell. Uh, so, post-it notes go a long way. And to the right, you will see a bunch of different moon moth prototypes I already did. And I didn't like the way those ones turned out. And I have the markers that I used are right there. We've got the Ohuhu alcohol markers. And then we've also got the Crayola Super Tips that I bought at the thrift store. And, uh, you know, thrift store markers are actually pretty great. Those washable thrift store markers. Uh, if you could buy them new, that would be better. But I'm mad at them. They've, they've, uh, they've been good to me. Just taping off the things we don't want ink on. These are the inks I am using. <laughs> uh, we've got archival ink, leaf green. Let's get some more of that. Take off some of it. And then we're just gonna go around and around until we've got all of the pieces we want colored. Yes? All right, I had taped the paper down. I will show you. It looks like that after we've cut it down. Now I've also added, this is a black 5x7 card. We've used this. And this back portion, this mint green, I use an embossing folder. Just to give it a little extra detail, a little extra something. Now let's work on our moon moth. We've got our prototypes there. Um, I used the silhouette to draw him. The silhouette cameo four, it's just an automatic die cutting machine and it, it takes a while, like a week or two to get like comfortable with it. But once you're comfortable, sky's the limit. So I liked this Crayola Super Tips for the center, and I liked the Ohuhu alcohol marker brown gray for the antennae, like that, and then we're also going to color a little bit of what looks like eyeballs. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for the brown. Now we have a dark purple, ultra fine point sharpie. Let's start with the light color first, shall we? And cover up that ink. And these, 
these moon moths are quite beautiful. And just go in with the flow here. Yes. All right. Once we're done, we're going to have a beautiful five by seven happy birthday moon moth card. There's more. Of course there's more. There. To come down to come there. Now we're going to take our dark purple. We're going to color in. down to the eyes. I'll have to come back in with the light purple to do the eyes. And then we're going to do a little bit on the wings. There. Because symmetry is key here. Okay. And then we'd color in the rest of that with the light purple. Now let's get to the wings. I have another Sharpie. I just really liked this almost like mint green again. So what we're going to do is we're going to color this. And what we do on this side, we'll do on the other side as well. Because that is symmetry. The thing I love about Sharpies they're foolproof. You don't, you don't have to be good at markers. Like alcohol markers, those exist in a craft world into their own. Sharpies? Nah. So we've also got this Sharpie. And then we'd go alternating all the way down. Now, that one there, 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 all the way. And then we'd end up with this guy. Something quite beautiful. All right, so now we have our card. With this guy, I had used the alcohol markers and it just ended up being too dark. And then I, I sprayed it with water because this is watercolor paper and started trying to color on it. And that was a silly idea. So then with this one, I was like, I need some lighter colors. And I used these colors. And then for the alternate right over here, I just went through a second time with that mint. All right. So now we're gonna adhere him to there. And I'm recording a video. So we're gonna glue him here. Mm 
Yeah, that looks even. Put something heavy on top. And then I cut out with the silhouette, happy birthday, but I had it right with my jelly roll pen and a adapter. That's what that's called. All right. So that way I didn't have to glue a bunch of individual uh, pieces together and it's all just going to be one giant brick. And I cut it out a couple more times. Two to be exact. Two is a couple. And uh, paired them all together to create some dimension. Happy birthday. We've got my needle nose applicator, which prevents warping, but I'm also going to place something big and something heavy on top. And to finish off the card, I wanted to use some adhesive pearls. Now, I was looking through my stash and I just so happen to have the perfect pearls for this card. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And just wherever you think needs a little bit of extra love. I'm going to put some pearls. Purple bled over there, so we're going to put some little something or others there to cover it up. Oh, and I really like that green. Let's use one more. Mini purple. Nah, let's use a mini. Why not use a medium size green? Disregard everything I said. All right. Now we have one happy birthday moon moth card. Have fun, y'all.